yo yo we are back in after effects and in today's video i'll be showing you how to create this 3d gun spinning effect in after effects we'll be using element 3d to do this so let's just jump into it so i have this clip in my timeline as you can see start off i'm gonna like track the camera and go into detail analysis and hit there so we have a perfect camera track you don't really have to do this but i think it looks pretty cool when the 3d object is tracked to the scene but anyways as you can see all of these track points I'm gonna select a consistent one from somewhere around here and create a solid on it. Ah, uh, not nah, here, like somewhere around here, maybe. Yeah, this solid is pretty good. So we're gonna hide this for now and create a new solid now ourselves. So let's just make it red so we know and we can like name this to now we can like name this to element then add element effect into this of course if you don't already know the element is a plugin which allows us to import 3d model and animate them in after effects so we're gonna go over to scene setup now and head over to import and in my discord server you'll find a 3d glock model it's completely available on my discord for free it's on the asset channel in the 3d so after you download that go over to import and import it like this and normalize size as you can see our 3d glock model is here which looks pretty cool and the half of the texture are not here because it is kind of glazed so to add those back i'm going to use pro shaders i'm going to use from the metal so from the metal top i'm gonna use uh i'm gonna go through and choose some of these that looks pretty glossy and cool as well so let's just go over to here maybe like make it something like dark like that let's just make it full on black like full on black and for the plastic we're gonna like uh make it a bit green at gray so it's like a gray tone in it that looks pretty cool right there also you can like drag on these materials into it like the maybe a bit darker that looks pretty solid right there and for the metal top let's just see this yeah that looks pretty dope i think i'm gonna make it a bit darker going into like the diffuse color and making a bit darker and going to reflectivity too and making a bit darker as well it's like that or you can like skin it to your liking well let's just like go with the simple one so as you can see our glock model is ready and we have dope texture on it as well so let's just close out of here for now and in a scene now you should see your glock model flying around like this that's what we want so, so we're gonna open up group one go over to group utilities and create the group null so let's just create a new group null of it and for this pull up the position pull up the position of the track solid we made last time as you can see and we could just gonna like paste the values in here so it's like tracked on smoothly that's that's pretty cool so we gonna scale it up more and like rotate it like that like that and i think the millimeter of our camera is just too much so let's just like make it a 24 millimeter camera so now we're gonna start the animation so i'm gonna hit s to bring up the scale on the on the null and put it a bit further like here and for the first value we are we're gonna set it to zero and select those keyframe go into graph and create a simple graph like this make sure you're in value graph as well and make a graph like this so the glock like pops in then then i'm gonna pull up my rotation and for the rotation i'm gonna use the y rotation to rotate this so hit the stopwatch in there too and put it a bit further i'm gonna make it like three cycles so let's just make it a three cycle and f90 is those as well select those keyframe go into graph and and make a similar graph on it damn that's insane i guess i'm gonna like make it a two cycle or something like that and for the last rotation i'm gonna like tilt it a bit like that and a bit of tight graph and i'm gonna go over to my scale again bring it up more and position it somewhere where it makes sense as well like there that looks pretty dope in my opinion you can also like add like a laser if you want on the glock as well so let's just go over to scene setup and head over to create and create a like this type of cylinder and we're gonna like lower down the radius of it to 0.1 and go over to orientation and rotate it 90 degrees and unlock the scale and bring it up in the height one and put it on the glock like this uh, maybe 
and to color this go over to physical and bright light i'm gonna add there and in the bright light set it to red uh, red like that and exit out of machine now and you should have your laser as well on the block now i think we're gonna match the lighting and the render settings so go over to render settings now and go over to lighting and you can like choose between the lighting preset they have thing like underwater would fit pretty cool with it yeah like those blue tiny effect you can see and you can also like go to custom layer and custom texture map and in the custom texture layer you can set it as your footage layer and head over to your scene setup again and then go over to environment go and load up your custom layer as the environment yeah now that matches pretty perfectly i think i'm gonna play with the nighting preset a bit more see what low works the best i think dramatic really goes hard with this yeah that's hard for sure also you can add like a lumetri color afterwards lumetri color and you can see uh, my blacks are too dark the video doesn't have that true too dark black so i'm gonna go over to basic correction and like lower down the shadows a bit like that something like that and you can also like lower down the contrast if you want that makes it look way more realistic i think i'm gonna reposition it like something around there i love the animation now and now i'm gonna head over to render setting again and go over to ambient occlusion and turn that on and you can set it to ray traced and you can like bring up the max distance and also the gamma if you like it really has that realism and those shadows as you can see looks pretty cool after that you can go over to go and set it to illumination i think this glow is not that good so we're gonna add optic glow after a while let's just leave it for now let's just turn off the glow for now i don't need it and another thing i like to do is go over to motion blur and turn that on and we're done with the element now so i'm gonna add rsmb a plugin to make those motion blur even smoother after that i also like to add a camera lens blur into it and make it blurry at the start and as it comes in you can lower down the value to zero so blurry at the start goes like this that looks super cool after that another camera lens blur into my background and blur it when in, when the glocks comes in like there and at the end i'm gonna lower down the lens blur as well we're almost done to top it all off i'm gonna add uh add a grunge preset from my ultimate grunge bundle and also a sick with it i'm gonna use grunge ultimate bundle for now and use drag transition and like put it at something around here just lowering down the hotspot amount to helps and then another adjustment layer with a sick so camera sick back and i'm gonna go sd for now and the best one all of this preset will be linked down below so you can download it really saves time and helps you to edit faster and also support the channel to create more videos like this so at the end my result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe me for more videos like this so see you in the next day peace